All right, so this is going to be a message for Aries. All right, so Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node. This is the love reading, so take what applies and then leave the rest. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. Now, these are a lot of messages. Okay, so someone that you are dealing with or previously were dealing with, because I got a few indicators here showing that this could possibly be someone in the past. Someone wants you back. They are wishing that they could take their words back. They know that they did something and they possibly blame you for it. But also knowing that they crossed the line with you. So they overstepped the boundary with you. But we got, we will be together again. So someone that you previously were dealing with wants to come back around. They're wishing they could take back some words, something that they said or did. They're wishing that they could take it back now. They wish they didn't. Give me a message for Aries, please. We got codependency. Some of you could be dealing with um, a Capricorn. We got release your ex. Yeah, see, some of you have released someone. This person could have been extremely codependent, really clingy, really needy. Um, very soon, look at this, very soon, and then reconciliation. Yeah, I told you, this person wants to come back around to you. They're going to be coming in, trying to communicate with you. Um, trying to get back in your good graces, calling in your soulmate. So some of you may have been calling in, <laughs> may have been, you know, on the search for someone else during this separation period, okay? You may feel like this person is leaning and depending on you for financial support, okay? But some of you are wanting to let go. You want this person to let go or you want to let go of the situation, okay? But I feel like this person over here is wanting to give this another shot. But there's some, some red flags here. There's some red flags here that I feel like you are already aware of. Yeah. There's been some deception. And that's why you had to let this person go. Okay. This is why you released this person. Because they were being deceptive. They were being a liar, a cheat, a sneak, a thief, something. All right, maybe you need time to heal from this, okay? And then you can get to know each other again. Once they come back and you're hoping that they're coming back different, this go this go around. Because they're coming back. They're coming back around trying to, get, trying to reach back out to you. Yeah, see, some of you, you feel like the situation was too unrequited. And you're, a lot of you have already found somebody new or already on, you know, a journey to find someone new. Okay, and you're healing from this situation. But this person is going to come back around trying to get your attention and trying to get you to, you know, trying to reel you back in, <laughs> should I say. What does this person want to say to my Aries? What are their intentions? Show me what's going on with this person. Yeah, it's definitely someone from the past. Okay, there were obstacles. This person could be going through something right now. They're going through some type of obstacle, some type of hardship. Um, we got retreat. Okay, so there was definitely a break. And on the break, someone found somebody new. This could be you. I feel like they feel like you found somebody new while you guys were on a break. Okay. Yeah, they feel like you're unavailable. <laughs> but in their mind, they're like, no, this is meant to be. We're going to be together. Okay, you're just going to have to accept this. Um, we're going to be together. This person is like, they strongly want this connection they know they messed up okay 
leap of faith. I told you they're coming to take some type of leap of faith towards you. Okay. Now they do. They are regretting this time apart. They're regretting this time apart from you. They're regretting being separated from you. Okay. This person is obsessed with you. Okay. They are obsessed. <laughs> they're crazy about you. All right, yeah, they want to come in um, with an apology, okay, and telling you that they've learned their lesson. You've learned the spiritual lesson. This is, I'm getting like, it's hard without you. It's difficult without you. But the thing about it is, is I, I do get that this person is extremely codependent on you. Like, they need you in some way, sense of form. I don't know if it's financial. I don't know what it is exactly. You know what you do for this person or what you did for this person. But they just can't. It's like they can't do that without you. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Like I'm getting really codependent energy. Tell me more about uh, Aries energy, please. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. You could be dealing with the Leo. I just saw the strength card there. But you could be very confident. You're sending your confidence. Some of y'all are dealing with the Sagittarius, but a lot of you are kind of, you know, either you're looking for peace or you're healing. I feel like you're trying to heal from this situation. Um, you're working on your confidence. You've been putting extra into your looks. You feel like the situation that you were previously in was, like I said, toxic, codependent. It was just toxic, okay? Some of you could have been dealing with the Scorpio. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you, here this person comes. Here they come. They're coming back. They're running. Running back. I feel like you found out the truth about this person. You found out that this person was a liar, cheating, being sneaky. You found out the truth about this person for sure, for sure. Okay. Something got illuminated about this person. Something came to the light about this person. Could be a Taurus or a Leo. This person is over here like, yeah, I, I just want to give you something. Just want to show you something. So I'm getting like a retaliation energy. Like they wanted you to like feel some type of way. And it backfired on them. <laughs> Why is the six of wands here? All right, I'm getting lots of competition here. So you may have a lot of people competing for you. Okay, or this person had you in a competition, tried to put you in a competition, like they tried it, and I feel like you're not worried about it. For a lot of you, it's a Leo. Okay, you're keeping your guard up. This person has completely lost trust with you, and I feel like here they come with that night. Here, didn't I tell you? Here they come with this offer Knight of Swords and a Knight of Cups. Somebody's coming in with the offer, and they're telling you. Oh, I regret, I regret. I'm having so many regrets. I'm, I'm, it's hard without you. I can't be without you. And this is you guys' energy. I feel like some of you knew this was going to come. You knew this was going to happen. You knew it. This person always comes back around with a sad top story. Yep. Coming in with the offer of love. And I tell you. We got the lovers. Could be a Gemini here. They're coming in with the offer of love. Okay. So, I mean, you. I feel like you're confident. You don't have any issues. You're not worried about this. You did your part. You did your part correctly. It's there on their end. What they haven't done and what they're doing and how they're trying to come back after they done messed everything up. Okay. Like, you done messed everything up. Now you want to come back. Okay. Let's see. We got the in my feelings. Let's see what else they have to say. What else does this person want to say to Aries? Then I'm telling you, this person is extremely attached. Like, like a leech. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, 
this person is extreme, extremely obsessed with you. I'm getting there is distance. Maybe you, you guys um, live in a different city or a state. They're love struck. This person is love struck. Like y'all got somebody crazy over y'all for sure. And they just can't. Look at this. They want to get married. For some of you, you're, you are married to this person and you've been on a break. A separation from this person and they're lonely without you they miss your smile your fun they miss being around you they're bored <laughs> they are bored here they even like to fight with you like like it's just born without you they miss their energy your happy energy look at this king Mm, 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 mm. You're their king or queen Yeah and they are stalking you For sure for sure They're looking you up on the internet They're so sad <laughs> They are so miserable Bored and miserable They've been patient to try to give you time to clear your head But they're like come on now Come on like what's I'm, I gave you enough time They want to have a victory with you they want a victory with you, and they're trying to get your attention. They're reminiscing all about you guys as family. For some of you, you have a family with this person. Baby mother, baby father, husband, wife type of situation. Um, but they're reminiscing about it. They're looking at pictures, old pics, and how relaxed and calm and how everybody looked in the picture. Like, they just they're just missing you. This person is just, like, missing you like crazy. They're missing you. This person is love struck over you. For sure. Like, I'm not going to be the one to tell you guys what to do. You know your situation. If they ask did something that's unforgivable, then, oh, well. You missed, you messed up. You missed your shot. You snooze, you lose. What else does this person want to say to my Aries? We're going to close out with these messages. The blunt truth. I know we will be together. I'm telling you. This person is trying to... This person is obsessed with you. This person is obsessed with you. Okay? They are obsessed. I'm at a crossroads right now on which path to take. I want to meet up with you. My head isn't clear enough to make a decision, but I do want to make this work. They're in a dark place. Like, they're so sorry that someone lied. They're saying that they're sorry that they lied to you. Woo! They feel like you're too good for them, and they aren't stable. They aren't in a stable place right now. They aren't at a stable place. They aren't stable, okay? And I feel like you, you provided this person with some type of stability, whether it be mental, physical, e emotional. You gave this person some type of support, and that they did something that's possibly unforgivable or something that's just like uh no like they crossed the boundary with you okay but now they won't back in so you guys let me know what's going on in the comment section below all right if you're interested in booking a personal reading our readings today are 45 dollars. okay all of that information is going to be in the drop box below as well guys if you're interested you can check out my website you get 20 percent off of your entire order today all right using code sale 20 at checkout chat with you guys later ciao for now